Hello, I'm Serena Di Cecilia and I'm the European Application Scientist for Flojo. And today I'm going to show you how to create and edit groups within the Flojo workspace. The moment you open up a new workspace, you will find two default groups, which are all samples and compensation group. Flojo uses groups to keep sam similar samples together, for example, as in, in the case of the compensation controls. All samples and compensation control group will always be present within each workspace. In all samples, you will find all the samples that you load into the workspace, while in the compensation group, you will find the compensation controls or samples that have the characteristics of compensation. And the population of this group in particular will allow the activation of the compensation wizard. There are several ways of creating groups. The first one that I'm going to show you is an automated creation of the groups by dragging and dropping any folder within the workspace. So I can, for example, select this folder right here called PFICS and drag and drop it within my workspace. The moment I drag and drop my folder, I see that there is a new group just created right here that has the exact same name of the folder and includes all the samples for compensation controls such as FMOs and my stained samples. I can edit the properties of this group by right clicking on it and click on edit group properties. When I open up the group window, I can change the name for example and call this group stained. I can assign a role as test or controls or replicate and so on. I can assign a color and a style as well. I can include sample uh, criteria, sample inclusion criteria such as live group or synchronized. The live group option will allow you to include in this group all the samples with the same criteria even if they are added later on into the workspace. While the synchronized option will allow you to edit all the samples within the same group in terms of gating strategy, for example, if you apply the same strategy to the entire group. Also, I can choose to select any possible keyword that is associated with my files to include them within the group and automatically select them to be included into that specific group. For example, in this case, I can select as a keyword the file name because I want to include in this group all the samples that include in their name a specific word. To select the file name keyword, I can just type dollar sign FIL. I can assign a rule such as the name that is equal or contains or lacks or exists of a specific word. In this case, I'm just going to add contains and give this rule to the group that contains the word LD. I can also select more choices and other different keywords if I want. And I can also add samples that come from different groups and include more samples into different groups, for example. Apply changes, close. And now I see that my group only contains 20 samples instead of 46. And I can go on and create a new group that is specific for my controls. So I can click on create group. And in this case, I can give it the name of controls. As a role, I can assign the role of controls. I'm gonna choose different color. And as a keyword, I will select the file name as a keyword that contains the word FMO. Create group, close. Now I have my controls group that contains 14 samples, my stain group that contains 20 samples, and my compensation group that contains 12 samples. 
within all samples, I will find all the samples that I've been loaded into the, that I loaded into the workspace. Also, as long as the samples remain into the all samples group, they will not be canceled from the workspace. So if I remove one of my samples from my stain group, I will still have always the same number of samples from my all samples group. So if I want to delete permanently a sample from my workspace, I will need to select it and delete it from my all samples group. For my compensation group, I can assign some rules to the group the way that whenever I load my compensation controls into my workspace, they are automatically loaded into this group. And to do so, I can go under my preferences and select compensation and specify the keywords that I usually use within the file name, for example, to include that specific files that come from compensation within this specific group. There is a third way of creating groups, which is manually. So I can create a new group, for example, and call it manual and not give any specification to this group. So you will see my manual group is empty, but what I can do, I can take one sample from a different group or from my old samples and just drag and drop it within my actual group. And thank you for joining guys. And thank you guys for watching this on Flojo University.